The Nigeria Employers Consultative Association, NECA, is a giant industrial relations body that provides a platform for private sector employers to interact with government and a major promoter of enterprise in Nigeria. Founded on the 16th of January 1957, purely as a consultative and advisory body of employers, NECA had about 28 employers at that inaugural meeting, initiated by government under the leadership of the then Minister of Labour and Welfare, Honorable Chief Festus Okotiebo, who, two years earlier precisely, on August 6, 1955, mooted the idea that there was need for a body to fill the vacuum of a representative employer's organization that can dialogue with governments. It is noteworthy that prior to the foundation of NECA in 1957, there were a few employers associations registered under the Trade Unions Ordinance with memberships of about 200 persons. All of these at industrial levels dealing with employer, employee or labor management relations. But with the increase of trade unions in the mid 1950s there arose a stronger need for employers to come together to negotiate and discuss issues themselves relating to labor, wages, industrial relations and associated matters. Another germane reason for the formation of NECA. Membership of the association since its inception in 1957 has remained voluntary and open to all employers of labor in the country. With just 54 members at formation, by 1963, membership had grown to 163 and two years after, in 1965, membership rose to 300. By 1979, the association could boast of 544 members. This continuous rise in membership was, however, slowed down between 1981 and 2008. No thanks to the resultant effect of the nation's economic downturn that led to the closure of many business enterprises. There have been various phases in the evolution of NECA as an organization. The, the, the nascent phase right, was more or less dominated by advisory engagement, advocacy, more in the area of social labor issues. And during that period, we were seen more as an employer's organization, even though not a trade union of employers. Um, because there, there's a word of difference between trade union of employers and an employer's organization. For you to be a trade union of employers, you must have registered under the Trade Union Act. And at no time in the life of NECA has we ever registered as a trade union of employers. Right? And there has been the face of what I would call a business membership organization. NECA today is more of a business membership organization than an employer's organization. So we've moved from the phase where we're mainly an advisory and an advocacy organization to a stage where we were more of an employer's organization, and now to a stage where we're a business membership organization. And our focus as a business membership organization actually goes beyond labor and social issues. We focus on the entire gamut of business issues that will be of interest to our members. And that's why today, uh, when you're talking of, of tax advisory services, we do render it to our members. If I would gone beyond that to even factor into our responsibilities the issue of social re responsibility of a business membership organization. Uh, we've gone beyond the issue of an ideological inclination of a business membership organization in only looking purely at interests of employers or enterprise to take cognizance of 
issues of interest to the society. And that has informed our foray into technical and vocational skills empowerment for Nigerian youth. It has informed our foray into promoting enterprise and entrepreneurship among women. It has influenced our foray into promoting safe workplace. I mean, those issues actually were not on the radar of NECA. In the first phase of its emergence, where we were purely an advisory organization, or the second phase of our emergence, when we were just purely employers' organization. Despite these, NECA still serves as a sounding board and idea bank for social and labor policy matters affecting the whole private sector. NECA today is the private sector employer's voice in dealing with the government and other agencies, local and international. The association over the years has provided a platform for employers to consult and dialogue among themselves on various issues and also share information and create linkages that will enhance the growth of their businesses. Nigeria Consultative Association NECA has helped in promoting industrial harmony and enterprises' competitiveness in Nigeria. It continues to be relevant as its views have been sought by government on many issues that include the regulation of the downstream sector of the oil industry, Pension Reform Act and the national minimum wage. NECA has made a very uh, very major uh, uh, contributions to not only to UAC but to the member companies because one you have several technical committees of NECA and uh, those committees are providing support. Uh, the committees are like uh, sounding boards to member companies in terms of providing advisory support on issues, whether they are uh, employment issues, legal issues, uh, you know, taxation issues, technical issues, and, and, and you know, other broad uh, issues. So to that extent, one would say that the company and all the member companies are benefiting tremendously from, the, from NECA operation. But one can even be more specific in terms of, uh, you know, in, uh, apart from this aspect of um, advisory support that are flagged, one can also talk in terms of advocacy uh, that NECA has, is really at the forefront of, of advocacy uh, in, 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 as it relates to protecting and uh, projecting uh, and ventilating the, the, the interest of its members to ensure that policies and laws are really uh, supportive of, of industry. Uh, NECA has taken issues up at all levels of government, state, federal, uh, national assembly, and where there's need to do so, NECA has gone to court. All in, in, the, in a bid to protect the interests of its members. For, and it has, apart from going to court, it has also gone into discussion, engagement, uh, which have produced uh, a fruitful outcome. And, and you know, policies that are anti-member uh, companies or anti-industry, a, no, a number of them have been uh, withdrawn. And even laws, you know, bills that are have been enacted, they have been amended to reflect, to, I mean, to take on board the, the, the interests or the views of the member companies of NECA as articulated by NECA at one point or the other. I mean, NECA has engaged SEC uh, in, on issues relating to penalties, leading to waiver, leading to uh, reduction in terms of charges and the rest of them that has engaged Lagos State Government on things like land use charge, like uh, sales tax, and quite a number of uh, policies and uh, laws. And, and so NECA is, perhaps one can say that NECA is the most vibrant uh, 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 member, at least in recent times, I mean, from one's experience, that 
Uh, NECA uh, is the most vibrant member of the organized private sector and, uh, and I'm sure uh, all the members will say that uh, uh, without hesitation. NECA has also, over the years, provided the platform for employers to collectively enhance and protect their interests, consult among themselves and share experiences. The mandate of the association is to pioneer a collective voice for employers in the field of industrial policy and practice in the country, bearing in mind the overall public interest. Employers consider NECA as a first point of call on any controversial issue with the government agencies and they've been able to uh, address the issues uh, raised by their members. Uh, led several delegations to some of the regulatory agencies to resolve issues between their members and those agencies. And they've been able to resolve substantial number of such uh, issues uh, with uh, the regu relevant regulatory agencies. So uh, they, they provided that uh, a one-stop shop uh, for resolution of dispute with government agencies that uh, is better handled as a body instead of individual employers discussing with the uh, government agencies uh, on such issues. If you know what NECA provides by way of capacity building, then you will know that as a young entrepreneur, an organization, an entity like NECA is what you want to relate with. Because the, the resources that are available in this place Honestly, unless we, you don't want to make use of it. It has more than met the expectation. Um, NECA is very passionate about um, the cause of its members, very passionate about the interest of its members, um, very dynamic, very responsive. Um, when issues uh, arise from members and we call upon NECA, um, they, they, they react in the manner that we expect them to. Um, yes, we are very, very satisfied with what they're doing so far. Um, and um, I wish them, at 60, they have, uh, they've defined the, the corporate terrain in Nigeria, one way or the other. They've added to it. Uh, they've defined laws. They've defined regulations. They've addressed, you know, issues that um, affect their own members. Yeah, NECA, NECA has done quite, quite well at 60. At the beginning, council meetings were held at different locations like Shaw Road in Ikoyi, Mobile Training Center, Apapa, Boardroom of the Shell Company of Nigeria Limited, having not had their own permanent secretariat. NECA operated its secretariat from six different locations as headquarters before it finally moved its permanent site to Alausa, Lagos in May 2009. The commitment of NECA's past leaders cannot be doubted. They brought their experiences to bear, encouraging recruitment of young and dynamic professionals into NECA's secretariat to meet its increasing demands and new role. The past presidents of NECA were men of many parts. Men who desired peace, truth and consultations. Men who wanted the private sector to speak with one voice on matters of interest. President NECA, Larry Etta, could well be said to have gone beyond the association's traditional role of industrial relations to advocacy and promotion of enterprise rights. As a business uh, membership organization, it's important that we are attuned to the requirements of our members. And within the context of the environment that the members operate, issues of policy is very important, economic policy. Issues of governance is also very important. So beyond the traditional remit of industrial relations, it was very important that NECA becomes a platform for policy articulation, sensible policy articulation, a platform that uh, is able to at least advocate those issues that would be 
important in creating an enabling environment for businesses to operate in. Because if we don't do that, then we end up in a situation where laws and regulations are made. And we have to operate in, within the context of such laws and regulations, and some of them are not business friendly. So the environment of business is very critical, and that's why we felt it's important that beyond that remit, that historical antecedents of NECA, that we become much more engaged in issues of advocacy, issues of policy, issues of enterprise rights promotion and protection as a corporate citizen. Apart from the traditional activities of NECA, it has today grown in scope and also expanded in activities. It supports the members in bridging skills gap through the technical skills development project is worthy of mention. In the last 60 years, NECA has been promoting the practice of enlightened industrial relations, encouraging the development of responsible trade unionism, the relationship between the employer and his employees has remained the core of its industrial relations. President of the Nigerian Labour Congress speaks on this very important role. NECA also have done extremely well in promoting the rights of enterprise in Nigeria and also that of employers through all legal and legitimate means. In fact, we can say very clearly that NECA is the face of our organized private sector. And uh, equally, they are partners with labor in the tripod uh, because labor and capital must continue to work together uh, to ensure productivity in our system or in our national uh, economy. And we have worked together on many projects, on issues of decent work, on issues of occupational health and safety, uh, on issues of review of existing labor laws. Uh, we have worked assiduously with NECA and uh, they have been found to be very critical allies of our labor movement. Uh, as we are aware, private sector always play a very critical role in the development of any economy. They create the jobs, they make our industries to work, and uh, NECA have played a very important role in actually balancing the convenience of power. At the international level, NECA was not just a member of the International Labour Organization, but was fully represented on the governing body. The association also as a member of the International Organization of Employers, IOE, had tremendous impact on employers and staff. The use of resources by the ILO all over the world, the decision on that is taken at the level of the governing council. Uh, one key benefit that um, will have for us, whether as an employer or as a country, is that we sit on the table to determine how resource flow will be managed. We sit on the table to determine how we can get capacity to improve our industrial relations system. We sit on the table to agree on policies that will ensure that we attain social and industrial relations harmony in, in Nigeria. And beyond that, we have access to sources that will enable us to build up the capacity to improve the welfare of our citizens. Well, from the perspective of members, uh, being in such a blue ribbon organization and being at such heights as you have seen, allows us to be able to assess leading age information about international practices that govern labor, that also govern business practices across, across the globe. So to that extent, we are actually, uh, are as much as possible, part of that global village as it is, so that we are not just people who wait and get these things to pass down to us, but we are also out there as voices, saying that these are the imperatives if we are to operationalize some of the things they are talking about, 
within the context of Nigeria or Africa. So we are actually part of inputs uh, where policies are being formulated uh, globally as uh, it uh, affects labor practices, as it also affects um, employers' rights within the context of labor. But beyond that, uh, to the second point uh, which you made about what impact does that uh, bring in terms of the people who work within NECA, I think they are availed uh, training and capacity building opportunities uh, uh, which is available uh, to them. And you would, of course, would have seen that some of them have been obscured through this process. And it, NECA also in its history has had um, director generals who have actually played uh, pivotal roles in most of these international organizations. So uh, particularly uh, on the issue of HIV and AIDS, we have had joint project that was sponsored by LO Sweden, which is one of uh, the most successful projects we have actually had with NECA. And uh, we can also uh, celebrate this anniversary of NECA without uh, also uh, giving credit to their indisputable face of NECA. Mr. Oshino, the Director General, uh, who is a person full of ideas and who have also worked assiduously to reposition NECA and uh, have also represented NECA at the global scene. At the time he was uh, representing uh, employers on the board of the ILO and he did extremely well. NECA has over the years remained committed to its objectives but not without some challenges bordering on the Nigerian environment as a nation. According to Larry Etta, current NECA president, the government should look beyond the seeming good performance of a handful of big businesses engaging the health of the economy. The mortality rate of micro, small and medium scale businesses is alarming and if there is going to be a firm grip of the panacea to the high youth unemployment in the country, then heed must be paid to the imperative for sustainable enterprise. Uh, the other one is also the regulatory agencies of government who sometimes see their remit as purely uh, a revenue generating rather than that of uh, being, you know, an enabler of business. I think additionally too has also been that um, we need as much as possible to uh, get our members to sign on on some of the issues that we are also pushing forward especially as it relates to reforms, especially as it relates to issues of taxation and also issues of governance. Employers under the association are also expressing a lot of concerns and expectations. What the NECA should do is to proactively have this engagement with government agencies, have an alignment with them to say uh, if you have issues with our members, uh, instead of taking uh, enforcement action against them, and discuss with us so that proactively we can have this put resolution mechanism with most of the strategic government agencies well in advance. There is need for the member companies of OPS uh, to come again, to come together again in terms of forging uh, a much more formidable body. So we are saying that NECA should also lead the process to ensure that the, me of the members of the OPS, that's organized private sector, that they work together to get, uh, 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 to get uh, uh, results in terms of relating with government, in terms of lobbying the legislature for, for employer-friendly uh, uh, employer legislation. If NECA can champion the possibility of having a single voice from the private sector, it will be a huge, huge progress for this country. In the next 10 years, I'd want to see the body of laws in Nigeria for the corporate environment, for businesses, you know, have, you know, have the impact of NECA's um, expertise, knowledge, um, advocacy, you know, to make a change in those laws. The role of NECA as a business ownership organization representing the interests of employers in all sectors of the nation's economy cannot be downplayed, but one that must enjoy a deeper and encouraging support of the government.